As a proudly 5'9 woman, a question I have often wondered is why in heterosexual relationships are men almost always taller? In other words, why I've rarely worn high heels on dates. According to a 2009 survey conducted by the University of Michigan, 92.2% of American husbands are taller than their wives. A more recent study conducted in the Netherlands found that 92.5% of dudes in straight relationships were taller by on average 5.6 inches, or about one average penis length taller. In that Netherlands study, only 4.1% of those couples featured a taller lady and shorter gents. So what's going on here? For one thing, nature. On average, men do tend to be taller than women. However, even if we all randomly assign men and women to pair up together, which does sound like the plot of at least three reality television shows on air right now, there would still be far more tall women, short guy couples couples than there are now, which suggests that there is some choice happening in the matter of us specifically seeking out taller or shorter mates, depending usually on whether we're a dude or a lady. And this is where a more recent study published in the Journal of Family Issues, ooh, it sounds like a loaded journal if you ask me, which examined explicit height preferences among Yahoo dating ads. Almost 49% of the women said they only wanted to date taller men as opposed to just 13.5% of men who said they only wanted to date shorter women. Meanwhile, less than a measly 2% of women and men alike said that they explicitly wanted to date either short men or tall women, respectively. Why such a strong response among the women? Well, those follow-up interviews found that women tended to be more invested in finding a tall dude who would feel protective of them and also make them feel small, delicate, and ladylike. Which is a pretty gender-loaded sentiment when you think about it. In writing about this study over the 538 blog, Mona Chalabi suggested that perhaps men aren't as invested in the height factor because, as many previous studies have established, they tend to zero in on waist-hip ratio. In other words, dudes really like boobs and butts. The study's lead author, George Yancey, also read a lot of gender stereotyping in these patterns. Specifically, that tallness is inherently powerful and attractive for men. We see tall men as leaders. On average, tall men make more money. Whereas that same physical characteristic in women might be seen, yes, as masculine, but certainly not as powerful, protective, and attractive. Unless, of course, you're a model. But the tall dude, short lady combo isn't necessarily us just playing into gender stereotypes because height preference also is exhibited in same-sex couples, but it seems to operate differently. A recent study on gay men's height preferences in romantic partners found that the primary motivating factor of how much they wanted a guy of a certain height was how tall they were. The more they deviated from the average height, whether shorter or taller, the more strongly they express preferences for taller or shorter dudes. While there are definitely some gendered elements to this, there also seems to be this natural inclination for us to date people of different heights. Maybe we think that we fit together better if one person is smaller than the other. Because, like everyone knows, someone has to be the little spoon. 